Ana vi me. Ana vi alta. Asna cho krasa. A will clue agas kal umer skave. Krihin krinchin a trilla. Tra lemogar. Achanish. Lim she is. Like Lebron James. Agas branim tri lahur er ground einrek shin hao. Tagin the kate din a quilla la. Och. Rug er bitum. Och me legna mach. Poetry is really, really complicated. I mean, there's just some poems where you're like, shit, that shit rhymes. See that? Every every second line of rhymes. First line rhymes with the last rhyme. Yeah, 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 that's so cool. That's all gone once you're in secondary school or high school, college or whatever. Like, take weed for example. Like how they will overrun your garden and your life if you don't obliterate them. But forget about weeds. What about leaves? Snails use them as handy bridges to your flowers, and hordes of thuggish slugs will invade. Ever thought about that? Apparently teachers love that. It's like, no rhythm, whoa, so much shit's going on right now, you've no idea. Yo, take that shit right now, take that down. I don't care what's going on, write that down. What's going on? And then there's like a big page summary about the whole thing, about weeds. Smoke weed every day. I mean, I get it. I get the poem. It's not that complicated, but you want a more complicated poem? Hey! This one by John Milton. When I consider how my light is spent. First off, the title's confusing. Okay, it's a sonnet. A sonnet is 14 line poem. Okay, cool. Then there's syllables per line. And that shit blew my mind. Every line is 10 syllables. How do you keep track of that? How? And the one talent which is death to hide. Lodge me with useless, though my soul more bent. What do you think that means? Apparently, it means saying he's left useless. That was so obvious. Shit. I have respect for y'all poets, man. Don't get this wrong, okay? I love poems. Poems are cool. It's pretty cool. You have to solve it and stuff. But it's complicated. <laughs> Like there's a poem about Daniel's duck. Basically the poem is about a duck that a kid saw. It was like a carcass in his house. It was like dripping because like, you know, you don't want to eat blood. And he just describes it in one, two, three, four, four, five paragraphs. One word in a poem means so much. You gotta write 10 lines about one word. I've done the leaving, sir. I'm happy. I'm happy. I had to study. You have to do your part too. If you did it, you passed. It's good for you. Oh. I had to study. You have to do your part too. If you did it, you passed. It's good for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to sleep, perchance to dream. Apparently, that's a quote from the Hamlet. No chance. It's 4 a.m. and I'm wakeful as an animal. That's a simile, ain't it? Literally, you can be smoking a cigarette, looking out the window and make a poem about it. The window is like a mirror. You see your reflection. It's nighttime, 12 a.m. You see the light in the distance, the street light, slowly getting brighter and brighter, orange to brighter. And then the sound of the wind, the breeze going into your- What am I doing? Why did I- Whoa, 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 why do you have to relax? So I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't no poet, okay? <laughs> One thing that just, I, I kind of let it slide was the rhythm. The poems in primary school that you learn, where there's rhythm at every second line and every odd number line, there's like a rhyme at the end of the line. It's kind of like that, and then all of a sudden it's just, nope, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. Poems are complicated. If you enjoyeth my video and like it as nice as it is, hit the like, like your whiz. Commenteth like your elbow is sharp. I'm just trying to say, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.